Hi, I just wanted to open uh, this Grandfather Connect up. My friend had purchased it. I said the pump didn't work. Tore it open. I trace this wire, which coincidentally goes to the pump. So you look at the top there, that is the uh, PCB board, which sits on top of the Grandfather. And tracing it back again down to the pump input. So here we'll show in a, the whole thing. All right, so there you go. Um, there's, as you, I, as I said, the the pump light would come on, but the pump would not activate. And even if you're not an electrician, you should see that that little. Uh, plug had fallen off or not actually not been connected. I don't think it was ever in there. So we'll put it back in and see what happens here in just a second. All right. Um, now I've kind of reassembled the uh, connection, fixed everything. I'm going to run a test now using my multimeter. Right now I'm making sure we got a zero uh, not plugged in. And then um, plug the uh, multimeter into the pump outlet socket. And you can see we have 123, which we had zero before I reconnected, obviously. Now if you take a close look at the display here. Again, the, the pump light is coming on this time, as it was before, but now we're getting full voltage from the pump. I switched the pump switch off and on. There, I verify that the switch still works. There's nothing wrong with the, the switch itself. You can see uh, kind of how the blue, uh, the Grandfather Connect looks. has a watertight cover over it. Just for a um, seal this thing back up, what I did here was make sure that the heat was going to work, the heat side. Uh, it comes on and I plug the multimeter into the heat outlet this time and you can see it's 123 also. So you always want to verify, double check everything before you putting screws back